I don't, I don't know if I've ever been this upset in my life. I can't remember the last time I've ever cried. I'm, so, I'm sorry, guys. I tried my best. I, I don't... I've been so physically sick these past two days. And and every every day of my life, I've asked God for help. And with everything I know, I can tell you 100%, God does not exist on this planet. Everything I've been through, everything my family's been through, every day I see people, everything they've been through, I, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I've told you guys before, I just wanted to help people improve their health, get them feeling better, being happier. With the health problems I've suffered myself, I can't count the amount of times, the amount of pain I've been in from my headaches, my stomach aches, the past drugs, the Accutane. I can't count the amount of times. I just don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. And I've had enough. I can't talk about who these people are. There's no point in naming them. They're just going to take the video down. These people are evil. They're not human. They don't care about you. They just want the money and the power. And to take advantage of as many people as possible. You guys are asking me. Get a lawyer. Tell me get a lawyer. I've had a lawyer. I've told them every week for the past two months to file an injunction against all the New York State Departments of Food Regulation because I knew they were going to do this. I spoke to a guy I know that does USDA consulting. This is, this is, you guys know, this is nothing short of corruption and harassment. Sending the county, sending this fucking sheriff of New York City and two USDA inspectors and three cops to a guy who, who does barely any meat sales in business and to seize his product and harass him and do that to me, that is unheard of. In, in the meat inspection world and all that stuff, that is unheard of. This is the, the landlord, whoever, whoever has a vendetta against me, is so connected. They told these agencies to give this guy as much of a hard time as possible. And now, my lawyer's telling me these guys can come in whenever they want. The food products they seize cannot be touched. He said they could arrest me. This is, this is the craziest shit I have ever heard in my life. This is absolutely insane. I don't know how they got a search warrant in the first place. The search warrant issued State of New York Supreme Court from Judge Richard Platkin, Tara Wells Esquire, Counselor for Scott Warner, New York State Department of Agriculture and Markets. So you have New York State Department of Agriculture who the search warrant, inspection warrant was issued for. And for some reason, the USDA entered the premise with the Department of Agriculture, detained the meat products, whatever. It's all bullshit. I've been selling USDA approved meat for three years. This is nothing short of harassment. And now, since they have reasonable cause to believe that I'm, uh, there's a problem with my products, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Sell it as pet food and dog food. I, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with these people harassing me and these people in my business every day. I'm not making money. I'm miserable every day. I'm killing myself. I just want to provide people with a quality product. And you have Butcher Box selling fucking feedlot meat, sending millions of dollars a day on advertising. I. I this this is not this is not a, a food safety issue. This is not a food inspection issue. This is government agencies, these people that work together that I cannot name, deliberately trying to take me down. This, that's what it is. There's no rules. There's no laws. There's no arguing. There's no legitimacy to any of this. I'm wasting my fucking time. There's no point. There's no point. I've spoken to my lawyer. He doesn't seem to want to help. He doesn't seem to... All the other lawyers I've spoken to, they don't want to take the case. My previous lawyer, you guys know I had to fire him, was working against me. There, there's no legal action that can be taken here. These are, these government organizations can do whatever they want. And, and I've had enough of it. What's the point? What's the point?
Enough is enough. Every step of the way, I, I've tried my best. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have I don't have enough money to get my own place. What am I going to get a lease on a new warehouse and have the exact same thing happen to me? You know, I spent three hundred thousand dollars last month on my credit card and bank account combined on the business stuff. I haven't made a dime. I haven't paid myself ever. I don't have enough money to relocate or do any of that stuff. Yeah, the sales look good. The sales, maybe gross sales, $1.5 million between all the businesses. But what does it matter if I'm not making money and people are stealing thousands of dollars from me every week? When you rent real estate from Simone Development Company, they will do everything short of slitting your throat to destroy your business. Found it very difficult to believe with the amount of money I'm spending on this USDA meat and UPS and all this stuff that they would do this to me. But at this point, whatever happens moving forward is too little, too late. I, I can't, I can't explain. <laughs> I can't explain to you guys how hard it is for me to do this, but. I I don't want to give up, but I I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe we'll try something else next week and see if I can just get some money and live somewhere by myself. They got fuck. They have fucking nothing. They work for fucking twenty dollars a day over there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'll try my best next week and see what happens. <laughs> 